Hello guys, this is Jamie Havikin here with a quick tutorial and some advanced uh, stuff here on AVS uh, U Audio Editor. Now, as you'll notice from the last videos that I've done on the audio editing, that I've changed the colors here. Now, you can change these colors to whatever you desire. Alright, now... How you do that is simply you'll most of the time you'll be on your home page, okay? Uh, you go to tools. And this is also when you first get this program, which I recommend over any uh, audio editor out there except like Pro Tools or Adobe Audition, get this. All right, you open up this and this is where you would set up what you're using as your um, playback device. This is where you would set up your uh, mic. As you can see, I have many options. I have my Screaming B, I have my stereo mix, I have my microphone uh, Realtek, I have my line in. I am using my Mackie USB mixer, so that's what I use. Now, colors. Here we go. Now, it tells you, you know, your grid is that color. Now, if you want to change it, you hit grid, change color. And then you would simply pick a color. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to change that because I want it to be, you know, bluish blue or something like that something darkest blue okay and then hit OK and you simply just go down the list I mean you can see there's a lot of stuff here okay and then you just hit uh, change color and or once you're done you just hit OK and you're done and you can you can even save as okay uh, blue and purple and I'll just hit OK man it's saved let me hit OK now if you go back to tools you got your view now you can view your resolution uh, classic you know right here's different things um, your spectral rate really don't have to worry about that and then you got general this is where you want to save um, your directories but once you save something, like say I was to save this in a folder, the next time I go to save something, it'll open that folder by memory. Smooth edit boundaries by crossfading. You know, I could use that, but I'm not going to. All right, what I've just done is I've recorded um, some stuff here. Let's take a quick listen. You ever thought about starting your own radio station or music? Well, if you need a stream, I am now. All right, so that was, they call me first take, you know, first taker, because I, most of the time, very rarely, I'm not bragging, i just saying, you know, I, I go with my first take a lot. Um, so what I'll, I'll do, which I've shown you before, is I'll just clean this up. So I'm going to clean up all the little gaps and come back and just kind of give you guys a little refresher. Let me pause it, clean up my gaps, and we'll come right back. All right, so I've cleaned up all the gaps here. I got to get a new mic holder or mic boom, or not get one, but hook up my other one. Right now, I'm using an, like the first one I ever um, ha uh, bought. So I left one open here, a couple, just so I can show you how they do them. I would open it and just look for bigger gaps like this. And just right click, cut, and a gap like this. Right click, cut. Even, you know, little gaps like that, if you're particular, you can go in there. One thing I like to do is highlight everything, go into here, and go to tempo change. Okay. And the most you want to go up is 120. Let's see how it sounds. You don't want to sound rushed, like you don't care about it and you just want to get done with it. Hey guys, Jamie Havikin here. You ever thought about starting your own radio station or music? Well, if you need a stream, I am now. 
That, that is a good pace. Now, as you'll see, ABS um, you editor very, very quick, and I have so much stuff open. The next thing I usually do is I'll go to EQ, and uh, I have a good overall. I'll see how it sounds with this. Hey guys, Jamie Havoc in here. You ever thought about starting your own radio station or music? Well, if you need a stream, I am... Sounds good. Sometimes it'll actually bring it down, so I'll have to amplify it next. And uh, no, that did a pretty good, pretty good job. In the past, I've shown you how to minimize these pops. Now, let's see what they sound like, including the software, your studio. Now that you know, it's not terrible. T, the best price out there. We have people will not even notice them. And of course, you can always switch to spectral. Now these spectrals will show you the higher frequency pops just and and they're there they're everywhere so there's no sense unless it's a bold very prominent like that you, you want to get rid of that and um, that's about it now once I, I've done this what I'll do is I'll open up uh, first thing I'll do is I'll highlight the section and look down here okay I need a bumper that's at least two minutes and uh, 35 seconds. I make all my own original music for my bumpers. Um, some in here that are named like Eminem, that's not an original bumper, but like all this other stuff you see them, them are, those are, sorry, those are original bumpers. Okay, this will work. 3 minutes, 22 seconds. Let's open it up. See how it sounds. Make sure it's okay. That will work. Now, what I'm going to do is starting right after this little, this first little drum kick right there, I'm going to de-amplify it. I'm going to double check. I need 2 minutes, 29 seconds on the dot. So now what I'll do is I'll come here from my starting point, highlight till I see 2 minutes 29 seconds on the dot, which is right here. Okay. I could try to dial it in, but I mean, when you're talking tenths of a second, <laughs> it's uh, not that big of a deal. Most of the time, I end up coming to about negative, just below negative 12. Sounds a little bit too low. Let's see. All right, we'll see. We'll work with that. Now you'll see. You'll be like, "Wow, that that's pretty low." Yeah, it, it does look pretty low. Next thing I'll do is I'll copy my file. I'll bring it in here, and what I'll actually do is click there and zoom in so that I start at the exact time I want to. You right click paste mix. By default it will put you at 50% amplification. Depending on how your original recording was you want to bring it up a little bit or a lot. I'm gonna try a good guess at this one in about 62. Okay, I'm gonna throw a paste in there. Now look at that. Looks pretty good about the same um, uh, amplification. Hey guys, Jamie Havoc in here. You ever thought about starting your own radio station or music? Well, if you need a stream, I am now an affiliate and a reseller. So I can provide you with the best. I am now an affiliate and a reseller. So I can provide you. All right, now you hear that background there, that sh that's not going to work. So let me pause this and find another. I might not even have to pause this. Let me find something real quick. That's 219. Um, 214. 226. Very, very close. 322. And this is the one I had open. No, nope, I had four open. So, all right, let's find something else here. Um.
Alright, let's see if we got a trippy that long. I doubt it. Nope. Alright, so I'm going to use an instrumental. Starting right here. <clears throat> going to highlight two minutes and uh, 29 seconds, which looks like it'll be perfect. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to work out good. All right. Now, amplify. I'm going to bring this down a lot. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is cut this, actually what I should do is cut this to here, cut, okay, and now I'm going to grab my file, copy, come back here, right click paste mix just like we did before this time I'm gonna turn this up a little bit more <sighs> let's see how it sounds hey guys Jamie Havoc in here you ever thought about starting your own radio station All right. oh. now what I need to do is turn down the file uh, beginning we only have a couple minutes left here so Right. That should be nice. Let's see what we got here. Hey guys, Jamie Havoc in here. You ever thought about starting your own radio station or music? Well, if now you let's see how it ends. ends. At gmail.com. Thank you guys. Take care. All right, that works nice. And you want to leave a second or two before your clip because that gives your broadcaster time I mean if your audio starts like your voice starts right when it kicks in it's not going to catch it all so I'm going to do an overall amplification then I'm going to do an overall equalization okay and we should be good to go the next thing you do is you just hit save as and you pick your bit rate, your stereo. Um, now depending on what you stream at, now you, that will depend what you save. I stream at 192, but I also stream at 96, 64, and even 48. Um, Sometimes I'll choose 96, 112. Most of the time for my shows, I go with 128. I'm going to go with 96. And by the way, since we're speaking about streams, I am starting my own uh, stream hosting company through a reseller. Basically, which means um, if you need a stream to start your own station, come to me. You can email me at jamie m Havikin at gmail.com. Let me spell that out and type it for you real quick. That is Jamie M. Havikin at gmail.com. And email me. Tell me you want to stream. And uh, I will get you the best. I'm telling you. $4.99 for 64K unlimited everything. Auto DJ 24 hour support everything you want to go up to um, 128 uh, bit rate you're talking 799 I can even get you a 64k stream for free to try out forever but with the free stream you can only run it you know like 6 to 12 hours a day um, but for 499 you can get if and if you focus on talk radio that's all you need so there it is contact me and uh, I have the best prices.